It's hard to admit, but I think I have the same taste as Kim Kardashian. When I saw that she owned chairs designed by Pierre January and that they were obviously unaffordably priced, I set myself the challenge of redesigning my own interpretation 60 years later and bringing these chairs to market at a price everyone could afford. Here is the easy armchair manufacturing story from design to final product. Before to start drawing, I needed to refresh my memory about scale and proportion of interior furnitures. The main feature of this armchair is the inverted V-shaped base. I made many attempts to find the angle that suited me. Now that I'm satisfied with the drawing, I can print out the plans and draw the outline to scale one. It's quite a long step and I need to be very accurate because I'm going to machine all my jigs from this model. And here we are, I can finally start making the very first prototype. For this version, I used only plywood straps. I stained them with bona oil, and then from here, I'm going to improve a few details and then build the first chair. I live in a small village in southwest France where a lot of wine is produced. One day, my neighbors offered to salvage a 150 years old oak barrel. Disassembling such a barrel is not an easy task, but with careful though and little patience, I manage it. Once all the pieces have been planed, I can machine each part using the templates I made from the outline. It takes a lot longer to plane wood that has been through so much rather than wood from a sawmill. It was an opportunity to make these armchairs from a wood of exceptional quality already steeped in history. Now I need a seat cushion. I bought the first fabric in a small shop and I sewed the first prototype to show Camille, an artisan upholster living in my street, what I wanted. Then she created the final version using a curly white fabric and a very dense foam to get the maximum of comfort. I'm so happy with the overall looking of this armchair, but there is too much woodworking operations involved to produce them in series. I had to find a solution to speed up my fabrication process. So after a long period of reflection, I made a big decision to invest in a CNC machine. It made the other local woodworkers smile. But for me, CNC machining is the only real evolution in the woodworking sector in the 21st century, since these machines became affordable for small craftsmen. So I went in search of the machine that would suit my needs. My choice fell on a machine produced by a Belgian company, Mechanica. I contacted them by email and then by phone, and I received all the advices I needed to prepare the arrival of such a machine in my workshop. To finance this project, I swapped my work clothes for something more conventional before going to see my banker to take out the loan. Eight days later, I finally had the money on my bank account and I was able to order the machine. And one month later, the Fabex cell was here, in my workshop, ready to be unpacked and assembled. Assembling a CNC machine requires patience, organization, and precision. So I have sorted all the components by type and size. This way, I had everything in front of me. I was therefore very careful to respect all the assembly steps to get the highest possible level of precision. I took my time because I didn't want to have to go back and redo certain steps. Two weeks later, my machine was completely assembled and ready to work.
For this CNC machined version, I worked to maintain the original design of the armchair. I also kept the same wood thickness to get a strong object. I wanted a product that could be shipped and stored flat, so I thought about the slow joint assembly. I'm very proud of the result. Proud to have succeeded in designing high quality armchair using modern techniques and machines. After almost one year of research and testing, I'm now ready to market my product. Thank you.